Now we should look at the practical approach. The practical approach means how an HVAC engineer or how the engineers actually does it in your uh, industries, in your consultancies, okay? And that is very, more, uh, very, uh, very much important as, uh, in terms of uh, employabilities of the students because nowadays is a very big concern. Okay, so this is just a whip of it. So just have a concentration to this. See, it's written actual elements of a composite wall of a general building. HVAC engineers way, there's heating, ventilation and air conditioning engineers way, the professional way. So I have taken a 200 mm of brick wall, then I have taken 10 mm of inside plaster, okay? Then I have taken 10 mm of outside plaster and this is actually, uh, means this is the actual elements, okay? Uh, if you, you know, uh, uh, if you actually build a wall for a general building, you will have these three components at least and then you can have like tiles, you can have like insulation, waterproofing, whatever you want to do, you can definitely go for it. But then this is the inside air, okay? Now the next thing that is coming up is the outside air, okay? Now this is heat flow, okay? So the heat flow, see the outside air, suppose if we are air conditioning this particular area, this is Suppose if we are air conditioning this particular area. So, if we are maintaining it in 24 degrees Celsius, which is a human comfort temperature, okay? And if suppose if we are talking about peak temperatures of Delhi, so it's 45 degrees Celsius, even more than that for some days, okay? So 45, suppose if I take it as 25, so delta T is 20 degrees Celsius, okay? It's a huge, it's a, uh, it's a huge delta T. So this delta T has to be overcome, this heat has to be taken out, so this is what HVAC engineers, the heating, ventilation and air conditioning engineers, they do in the consultancy, okay? So it's a brick wall, it's a plaster, it's a plaster and till now what we have seen in the theory that each and every element of wall, they actually offer resistance, even air also offer resistance. So there is a resistance here, convection inside, there is a resistance here, convection outside, okay? Then there will be resistance here. This is our plaster inside. There will be resistance here, our plaster outside, and there will be resistance here. This is our brick wall, okay? So now we will, actually the uh, thing remains same, okay? The thing remains same. Thing means the formula remains same. It's again, Q is equals to delta T by R, but here what we will do, we will do the practical approach, okay? So. This you won't find it in your textbooks. This you won't find it in your textbooks. So this is basically carrier handbook. You might have heard about John Willis Carrier. He is the founder of Carrier Air Conditioning. No, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a reputed organization across the globe, okay? So Carrier Air Conditioning, the only thing is that this is in IP units, this is in Imperial units. So what you can see is, this is the material. See, first of all, you just look at the units, okay? It's degree Fahrenheit per British thermal units per hour square feet, okay? So, the material, so let's look about, so suppose if we have to go for, uh, if we have to take out the resistance for 200 mm of brick wall, okay? So, can you see the masonry units? Can you see the masonry units, okay? Masonry units has this thing, that is brick common, okay? So, brick common, sorry, brick common, for 4 inches of thickness, for 4 inches of thickness, it actually gives 0.8. So if you have like 8 inches, if you have like 16 inches, just multiply 0.8 by that particular multiple, okay? A particular multiplier, okay? So you will get the resistance of that brick wall, okay? Now, now this is the second page of the carry handbook. This is something which I am showing, this is, uh, this is what I am showing, is not available in your general textbooks. Okay, so thermal resistances once again. Now, uh, we want to calculate the resistances for plasters. Okay, so this is cement plaster. Can you see this? Plastering materials. Okay, now this is cement plaster. Okay, and here is the cement plaster sand aggregate. Okay, so for half inches of thickness, you will get the resistance of 0.1. Now, it is, uh, suppose if it is like uh, 0.5, then this one will be applicable. Suppose if it is one inch, then you have to multiply it by two and so on. The multiplier has to be 
multiplied continuously to get the particular resistance for that particular thickness that is actually there on your wall. So, you have to take it and you have to multiply it twice. We will we'll do it. Now, this is the carrier handbook excerpt once again, but this will now uh, take care of the inside and outside air. You can see the air spaces here. Okay, this air spaces, the heat flowing is vertical. As I have already shown you, the heat flowing is vertical. Okay, sorry, the wall position is vertical and the heat flowing is horizontal. See, what, uh, what we have shown is the wall position, the wall position is vertical here and the heat was flowing horizontal. Okay, so with this, this is the resistance. Okay, uh, actually the thickness doesn't matter because air doesn't have any thickness if it is an open area or if it is a closed, uh, a bigger area, air thickness doesn't matter. And then this is the outside air. Okay, so this is the resistances. Okay, 10 mm plaster, 200 mm brick wall, 10 mm plaster, inside air, outside air, total resistances we have calculated. Just go for U is equals to 1 by R, you have calculated. Considering face area of 100 square feet, inside temperatures I have assumed 77 Fahrenheit and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So the heat flow across the wall that you need to remove by air conditioning unit is 1089 BTU per hour. Okay, so this was all about. Thank you 